And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Oz Rafter, which is a request from LREX via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Oz Rafter was an abelosauroid theropod that lived in the Middle Jurassic in what is now Australia, as we briefly mentioned at the beginning of the show. It was found in Kolalura sandstone. It's not a dromaeosaurid, even though it's got raptor in the name. Meh. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yes. It probably had a typical theropod body, you know, walked on two legs and it was carnivorous. The holotype is UWA 82469 and consists of the lower end of a left tibia, the shin bone. This fossil is about 3 inches or 8 centimeters long and 1.6 inches or 4 centimeters wide at the lower end. And it's estimated that the full shin bone was about 7 to 8 inches or 17 to 20 centimeters long. So that's even less bone than tomorrow, the new troodontid. Yes, that's a good point. Not a lot to go on there. Not a lot to go on, and I don't think I mind as much as you when it's based on just a single bone. It just means that it's likely to get axed later. Someone's going to say there's nothing unique about this dinosaur and then mm. it's going to be a nomon dubium. That's true. It depends what else is found in Australia. So Oz Raptor is estimated to be about 6.6 feet or 2 meters long and the body length was estimated by comparing similar bones in other theropods like Allosaurus. The fossil was found in 1967 by four 12-year-old Scotch college schoolboys. <laughs> wow. Stephen Hindcliffe, Peter Peebles, Robert Coldwell, and Trevor Robinson. And they found it near the coastal city, Geraldton. They were there to collect fossils. It was found at the Bringo Railway cutting site. So the boys showed the fossil to Rex Prider, a professor at the University of Western Australia. And Rex Prider sent a cast, which was still embedded in the Matrix, to researchers at the Natural History Museum in London, and Alan Cherig there thought that it might be a turtle, <laughs> but it, you know, wasn't really prepared yet. The fossil had been worn away at parts, too. Then, in 1998, John Long and Ralph Molnar named and described the fossil as Oz Rafter. So, Long had the fossil prepared when he became curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Western Australian Museum, he was appointed there in 1989, and then he started a review of Mesozoic vertebrates of Western Australia, and that meant studying all the material in the museum's collections. And after it was prepared, they said that this was the shin bone of a theropod. And apparently the fossil was encased in rock and long pried it apart with a hammer and a chisel. The type and only species is Osraptor sobotai, and the genus name means Australian thief, because Oz is a colloquial term for Australia. And from the paper, it says, quote, one may therefore metaphorically think of Oz Raptor as the Lizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Yeah. The species name is in honor of the fictional character Sobotai, who's this fast-running thief and archer from the movie Conan the Barbarian. And the species name is because Long said that the rectangular depression and the morphology of the shin bone probably means it was an agile dinosaur. And apparently he was a Conan the Barbarian fan. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that he had that name <laughs> queued up and ready to go. <laughs> so the original paper in 1998 spent a lot of time covering what made the fossil unique enough to be its own genus, even though it's based on a single incomplete bone. So there you go, Garrett. They were aware. The distinct features included this depression where the ankle bone, the astragalus, is attached, and it's almost square in shape. Usually it's triangular. And the medial malleolus was weakly developed. That's this bony bump on the inner side of the ankle. So the 1998 paper said that the shape of theropod ankle bones can be distinct enough to show different genera. Until we find a whole group that has that same type of <laughs> joint, and then it's just going to be like, what could be any of these five? They also said, Garrett, that <laughs> this is the first known Australia Jurassic theropod, and it's unlikely to be from something already known. The closest known theropod at the time was Cryolophosaurus, and that had been found in Antarctica. But they were connected, so. But it's still far away. Yeah. The paper also said that the theropod Kakuru was named based on part of a right tibia with a unique ankle facet. <laughs> 
So it's not unprecedented, although I know you think it shouldn't happen at all. <laughs> it's also not unprecedented that dinosaurs become gnomum dubium from being named from two small finds. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, they saw that the shape could be used to recognize major groups of theropods. So in the case of Kukuro, it indicates a yet unknown group of theropods. And the same goes for Osraptor. And they did a lot of comparisons to other theropods with the ankle bone shapes and the tibial morphology. For example, theropods with more of a triangular shape include Coelophysis and Synraptor. And they found Osraptor to be unique compared to Jurassic theropods, though they did also find some similarities with some Cretaceous theropods. Osraptor was the first dinosaur formally named from Western Australia, apart from Trax, and the, it was the first Jurassic theropod bone from Australia. Dinosaur tracks had been found in Queensland previously, including at least one track from a small theropod that was thought to be around the same size as Osraptor. And at the time that Osraptor was named, pretty much all dinosaur bones found in Australia had been from the Cretaceous. Plus, there's this one partial skeleton of the sauropod Rotosaurus that was found in southern Queensland from the Jurassic, and one probable sauropod caudal vertebra that was found near Gelton that Long had reported in 1992. But for the most part, mostly Cretaceous. Yeah, it's definitely what I think about. It's like the smaller nithopods, the big titanosaurs out in the outback and all that kind of stuff. It's Cretaceous. Mm -hmm. So Osraptor was found at the same site as the as that sauropod caudal vertebra. They also found fossilized wood, bivalves, and plesiosaur bones. And originally, Osraptor was classified as Theropoda incertacetus. Yeah, that's that was a good call. <laughs> <laughs> then in 2004, Oliver Raoult found Osraptor to be the oldest known abelosauroid. That's based on a review of postcranial material of a small theropod from Tanzania, as well as other theropods, including abelosauroids and ceratosaurs. Yeah, at the very least, it is handy to have a name for it, because if it's the only thing we have from that continent that's like it, I think it's kind of handy to have a name so you can say like, oh, Osraptor, rather than having to memorize the specimen number and think of it as that one theropod bone that we have in Australia. Mm -hmm. It might make it a little bit easier in, in the literature, but... Yeah, I would not be surprised if this changed names in the future. Yeah, maybe. But for now, it's known as an abelosauroid, and that's because abelosaur fossils from Tanzania were found to have similar characteristics to Osraptor, like that depressed feature. Similar, but not the same. Yeah, we didn't hear at all about Osraptor when we were in Australia, but I think it's because... We weren't in Western Australia. Exactly. And there are much more complete finds in quite a few localities in the eastern half of Australia. No one says eastern Australia, but because <laughs> it's not a state, but in Queensland and Victoria, especially, and New South Wales, to a lesser extent. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know Dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 